Star Citizen is currently free to play. I downloaded it, installed it, and played around with it a little bit and came to the conclusion I'm too dumb to play the game. Okay, so I'm going to launch Star Citizen, and um, it takes a second to come up, uh, start up. But I'm not sure I'm smart enough to run, place Star Citizen. And let me explain. Okay, so I'm not sure how this will all record, but we'll see. So I'm recording. It actually seems to disable the old F9 when I start. So I'm using, anyway. So I have the universe, electronic access, go to hangar, options. Now here's the interesting one. I go to options, controls, options. Now I've got a, uh, now it says mouse. But I'm a, I have a gamepad, and I'm a gamepad kind of guy. And I'm not sure how to set if this is on first picture view i let's turn things on yeah pitch yeah flight yes yes up down i don't know because if you don't turn all this on then it definitely i did couldn't control anything with um, with the game controller, which was kind of throttle up, throttle down, look up, look down. So flight, ground vehicle pitch. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, press to unselect. Press to minimize. And as you see, there's a whole bunch of interesting things you can do here. And I don't know how to, what all they mean. So we'll, we'll see. So I got a lot of things. So now then, let's, um, let's go to the universe. I want to go to the universe. So we can go to the um, corp, or we can, uh, let's see, area 18, and let's launch. So I th so we click here, B54, and we launch. So I was having real problems with understanding how this works. And uh, like I said, maybe I'm too stupid to play this game. So we're loading, loading. Okay, I'll accept some slow loading times at the start because we're just trying to see what this game is like. So, and this is the free to play stuff. So I haven't purchased anything. That's why I just wanted to <clears throat> see what it was like. And we get into here. Oh, and it's interesting. There are other people running around. And, all right, so we can look around here. And we're getting used to the... I think I've turned on some of the controls that we had. There, and I'm having a difficult time. Okay, so today just talk walking around. And everybody looks the same, which is kind of bizarre. So we can come over here, and nothing appears to be meaningful. <laughs> That's the problem I have, is that you... Okay, so we go into... Ah. As I'm saying, I'm having a hard time. I turned on a bunch of things on the control, and... So we have somebody crawling on the floor, which is kind of intriguing. 
but there's no way to interact with anyone. And I think my controls are backwards, which is why I'm kind of having a bit of Actually, let's go back. Let's see if we can get out of here. Let's hit escape. Go back to the options. Controls options, not mouse. Gamepad. Inversion settings. Okay, I don't want to invert. Okay, is there a way to reset everything? See, okay, so it's the inversion settings. So. I don't want to invert inversion settings, so that's, we don't want to invert anything, I don't believe right now. That was part of my problem. So I am just having, I had some interesting problems with this thing because I just don't understand how, there are so many options that it gives you, definitely not designed for a casual player. Let's just say that. So now then, let's back. Okay, flight, throttle up, throttle down, flight look view, click to modify, let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Go to hangar, exit to menu. Yes. Main menu. Let's go back to the universe. Let's go back here. B30. And launch. So we're going into a different region. Like I said, this is just kind of strange to me because it's not very intuitive for a casual user, which is what I was plan on being just a casual player of to see what it's like I'd heard the interesting things I know they raised a lot of money on Kickstarter so I just wanted to wander around and see what was going on in the in there and it's uh, we'll get to the hangar in a minute but I was kind of like to run okay things are running working better now without turning things on but you can wander around things pop in and out on the that so we got control border no idea what any of that means and I don't think it's important because you you know and then you're here and there doesn't appear to be any way to interact with anything a, okay the a button and you jump and you can't get it looks like you should be able to get certain places but I don't know how to open the doors so what happens is that you come over you know X, that one's not available. There's a guy there, and you got a green. So you can go to an airlock. And we can go here, maybe. And we press, no. So this is the only airlock, I guess, that's open. Security notice. Now, why doesn't it? That was opening. Okay, I don't know. So we're wandering around and like I said, I don't have any, any knowledge of how to start anything. Ah, there it opened. There's some, there's more than one person there. And you can see that it's there. Now we come over to here. Use. Okay, so let's use that. So we can now specify where we want to be. And I got to use the mouse to do this. So let's go here. I want to be kind of strange. I don't want to go to the hangar. Because I've been to the hangar and I, it's kind of strange. So St Staten 2 Crusader port. So I don't know where this is. So I, like I said, I haven't paid much attention to the game. I just downloaded it and thought since it's, quote, free to play, let's see what it's like. And we're seeing the loading times are a little bit slow. And we go through and see what, okay, loading game, loading game. 
Loading game. Now we have a graphic, which is a similar graphic. Oh, we sit in there. And it's sort of pretty but graphic, but it's kind of slow loading game. So now we're initializing. Where are we? Okay. So now we get, okay. Now we can get up, I think. So we can, let's see, what have we got down here? Can, can we do something with that? No, A. We can crouch. Initializing, everything's initializing. Danger. And I don't know. And there are things there, but you can't see. I don't know how to interact with them. So anyway, it was just sort of irritating. So I'm on deck three. And you come over, oh, I got vending machines. But there doesn't appear to be any way to interact with them. So what's this? And you see trash on the floor and you can't do anything with it. And you can wander around and you wander into here and um, deck three. We wander down to deck two. And we want to get into there. Oh, man, we get stuttered for a bit. And we come down here and this is where we come in. And we can ask for let's use. So what would what do we want? So what kind of let's let's request this one. We'll request a ship. So it's telling me it's available on landing pad A6. It gives me a distance to A06. So now we have, you know, we see other people running in here and picking up things and so we have our little location, A06. So this tells us we could go over 05 on deck one. So let's see, 05 to 08. 05 to 08, landing pad. Now then, we come over here and we press to use. So we go into, and it will, and it opens up, and we get in. Now then, let's use this. So now this opens. This deprecate compression. Okay, so now we've got some nice graphics here. So now we're. We were on A06, I think it was. I don't remember. It doesn't matter because we're not. I haven't been able to figure out how to do anything. So what happens is you come out here. And here is. My Aurora. Now notice things popped. Okay, so we got some issues of things popping in and out, which gets kind of interesting. So this is our ship that we're, we sort of requested. And by trial and error, by pushing buttons on the thing, you sit here and you go A, A jumps, B doesn't, I don't know. B does something, initializing. Anyway, so let's stand up. So if we do the, do the, we get to the right place right here, and then we can hit Y, which will open the the Y button, which will open up the door. So now we can come. Now we have to hit the Y button again. So now we get in, and then we go. All right, so let's use this. So we have to get in the right place where we can hit the Y button, and then it gets into some sort of animation. And we get here, and now we're totally screwed because I have no idea how to do anything. You can't, the joystick appears to, we can look up and down and things like that. And we can Welcome bring up- Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Okay, we're great, but, how do I launch? So, B? It's the B button? No. The X button? No. The A Stand button? Four shields. 
does something with my shields. I don't know what the hell we're doing. And it gets us out of the chair. And that's not what we wanted to do. We wanted to get back in here and we wanted to try and take off. So that's why I said, I am too dumb to figure this out or I've got to read through manuals and it's not the kind of game that I, you know, I just wanted to be casual and, you know, I pick up a game and want to try it. So... Welcome yeah. to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Radar contact. Landing gear raised. Oh, what did we do? Autopilot. We did Y. Okay, this is farther than I've ever got. I've never been able to get up, get up, get out of here. So, oh wow. Now then. Okay. And so we're autopilot engaged. So okay. So now let's see. We have to use the mouse. Okay, to figure out where the hell we're going. And we just wander around. So... And we're going to come down and we're just going to go... I don't know where we are. So. so we're upside down. Okay. So it's a little bit bizarre. I've got farther along this time than I've ever had. Last time I was just sitting there trying to figure out how to take off and I actually just by luck you know that now we have two warning symbols over there and I have no clue what they are and so we're going to go down and I can't figure out how to thrust or anything oh I hit A so what did I do oh this is fun Okay, so we're back here. So we're flying someplace. And I can go... Oh! I'm just going to bail out! Yay! What did I... Okay, there we go. Yeah, so there's my ship wandering around. I don't know, and I'm outside of it. So this is... Now, yeah, this is sort of bizarre and you can wander around and there's some other ships and you can take a look at things it's pretty and there we see other ships and we can wander over to other ships but we but uh, uh, see we actually see our shadow I guess that's our shadow of us flying around and there we go let's come back down here and go back. Come on. No, I don't know where I'm going. And see, I don't know how to thrust or anything like that because it's not obvious. I just left my ship out there, so that's fine. I don't care. This is free to play, and I'm going the wrong way. And, okay. And things bounce around, and I'm spinning and yawning. Who knows? And I don't know how to fix that. And so we just come in. Let's see if we can come in for some sort of hard landing. Oh, there we go. There we got there. And we actually, I think it shows us damage that we got from that. That's okay. I don't care. I'm playing around. Just playing around. So we can wander around. And there's no one to talk to. There's no one to interact with, in, at least in the sh station. So it's definitely, you know, it's, they've got some dirty parts to the station, which they've got some interesting colors and things like that. But it just, uh, you know, there's somebody else running off to go find their ship. And then we come back here. And can we get in? Okay, there we can go. So we can wander in here. It's just, as I, pl as I played around with this, like today I got a little bit farther along. And I just am not, it, well, first off, I can't, there's just, you know, you don't know what works. There are very few clues as to what works. You see things that you want to interact with and you can't. And that's sort of irritating. 
because I want to see, you know, that's what, for me, immersive universe should be that you can go in and interact with things. And I know that they're trying, you know, that they're trying to make it, it's still in development, but it just seems, and here we go, you know, it's, it's an interesting thing and I don't know what it is. And you can't, I don't see any way to interact with it. No, nothing highlights with that. So, then I can come back and I can use this and I can pick a different ship. So this one, we can request that. So it's AO2. So A02. So we can come back out here. That's pet 10. We see some signs here. So that's 01 to 04. Deck. So we're on an AO2. Is it still a brother one up there? Yeah. So I don't know. So we wander over. So we can wander over here and we can do. Uh, access this and like I said sure I could watch some sort of tutorial but um, I am not I'm just a casual player for this thing I just want to casually wander around and see what's going on and it's interesting but it's just not that interesting, shall we say. So there's AO2. So now he's gonna run over this way and try and he's running someplace. I don't know. And how do you get in this one? So we can So I don't know, because this is in theory the ship that I've got, and so this is one of the flush frustrating things about this, is I can't, okay, there we find, and see it's touchy about, you gotta know where the things are in here. So there we go. Okay, so we use, so it's under, so then we're not pointed right. So then we finally get into the ship. And we look here and we have to hit use again. So we get in the, sh we get in the seat and then we turn around and okay. So welcome. Your journey begins now. All systems operational. Great. So let's see. Okay. Contact. Flight assist disabled. Flight assist disabled. And I don't know where we're going. So okay, so this one does seem to give us some thrust. That So we're flying, which is farther than I got along before. And I'm trying to figure out how this thing works. And we and if we look just if we look down, we haven't gone very we we haven't gone anywhere. And it's I don't know how to go anywhere. So what happens is that no target. Oh well, that's interesting. Um just hitting buttons at random. Now that, if we move the left joystick up, it seems to do something. And so does the right joystick. So if we... Oh, that was interesting. What was that? 
Okay, so that if I press the the button, we see things. We can look around, but I, you know, nothing with the triggers, the buttons. What did I do? Something? Ah! It's the contact scanning. I think I don't know what. Contact I'm doing. scanning. Contact. But we haven't gone very far. So there's another ship out there. Or something. Contact. And Contact. You know, Scanning. Definitely interesting, but it's just not you know. It's, it's definitely not for the casual users. You got to read the manual. You got to figure out how to do this. So it's not um, definitely not a casual user game. And you know, it's just can I do something interesting? Like now, can't shoot anything. So we're gonna, you know, we see something down there, and I don't know. There's some guy running to it. So maybe he's going to take off. And I don't know. Contact. Scanning. And we just... Not intuitive at all. The controls are... At least for the joystick controls that I see, it's just not... Yeah, see, his engines are firing up. So, yeah, so he took off. But does he know how to fly? Evidently he knows... A... <laughs> yeah, he's doing the same thing that I'm running into. So we just look around and you see other people have... You know, it just doesn't seem to, you know, he, he may be getting better off better than I am, but I can't figure out how to fly this thing. So I, you know, so I do the fun thing again. Let's see if I can, let's see. So we can, so we can step out of this thing and step back to the back. And here we are. We turn around here. And we can use this. Oh, that puts us back in the seat. We didn't want to do that. We wanted to bail. So we're, you know. I don't know. System failure imminent. Shield charging. Contact. Scanning. Oh, great. Contact. Okay, system failure imminent. Good. I don't know what I'm doing. And I can't figure it out. So there's my shadow, I guess. And so, let's get out of here. Let's bail. And we come around. Now I don't want to use that one. So there's gotta be, there's the ladder. Yeah, there we go. So we bailed out again. Yay! And we just leave the ship up there. And it wanders around. And we're going to wander. We just bailed out. And this is actually... I think that's my old, that's the other one that I bailed out of. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a different, that was the other one. So you can wander around and fly around in your little spacesuit. And it's pretty, but I don't understand it. That's why I said I'm too stupid to play this game. Because I can't figure it out without reading the manuals. And, you know, it's the, and the weird popping in of things, as you just saw, it's sort of discouraging, and so I seem to be, and I can fly my spacesuit better than I can fly any of the spacecraft. 
and it's the black that pops in and such like that that gets a little irritating and maybe there's ways to adjust the graphics for that but it's really kind of strange when you and you get the sounds which are kind of loud that somebody flies by and I mean there's another ship flying by and I don't know I just uh, for me it's just oh let's have fun wandering around and seeing what's going on so it was interesting to the fact that it's free but without a lot more <clears throat> study I guess I don't know how to play it and you know it's just kind of strange so I'm going to put this one as a game that is definitely not for a casual user and can I fly through here oh, maybe maybe not So, and you can see all the interesting parts and theory of the station. I don't see any way to get into those, <coughs> except you can see them. So, from my perspective of a person who much more prefers RPGs and such, this is not my style of game. I mean, it just really, I think that's the conclusion I came to. It's not saying that it, that other people wouldn't like it, but it's definitely not, for, And you know, it's like the things that go black and pop, and there's <clears throat> really odd things about the graphics with regard to that. And see... This is that the controls, at least on the controller for flying like this, do not appear to be the same controls that you have in the spaceship. Which, it, or maybe there's a way to configure them so there is. It's just kind of odd. And you, <clears throat> you know, the spaceship seems to keep going on and on and on, or whatever this thing is that uh, the station that we're on and you can just wander and wander and and see what you're seeing this way it's not very fast reminds me of when I was was it Morrowind it wasn't Oblivion I think it was Morrowind where you could get this fly spell and you could fly around and uh, see things and that was an interesting way to explore was by flying but here you know you're in your suit which makes more sense and if I just look around I mean things are pretty space is pretty it's just you know I was heading over toward these things don't know what they are and I don't know if they explain what they are and I don't think there's, and I'm so probably so far away from the docks that it, you know, or whatever, how to get back in. Because it would be interesting to wander through and explore this. But I don't know if that's part of the game or it's just, you know, background. There's, you know, be a lot of potential to have a nice, inter interesting space city where you could do some things and wander around as sort of an RPG but I don't think that's what they're looking for for this I think this is much more of a combat oriented game for hardcore people who are willing to read through all the manual to figure out because I pulled up a somewhere I got a sheet of where and it was the keyboard bindings were just intense where you have all right, so let's get, let's, okay, so we're, I think, almost to the end of the ship, and then we'll, um, oh, maybe not, you know, 
So is there a way in? You'd think at the end you would have some sort of dock you could get back into. And what have we got here? Is there a way in? And let's see, this is an interesting exploration. I don't know. Warning, collision alert. Okay. Fine, I want to get back in the spaceship. So... But I don't see any way to get in. And you would think this would be the logical place for a... something to get into the ship. But evidently not. So... Okay, so we hit escape. Let's just go to the hangar, and I'll show you some of my uh, frustration. When I first started this, I went to the hangar, and then until I figured out, and now we got a completely black screen, and then it flashes a bit. Not sure how that will show up. And then let's see, what are we doing? So there we come. Okay, so now we got the loading game graphic. And we're loading, and we're loading, and we're loading. And we're loading. So now we're in the hangar. There's. My ship, yes. And this is, you, you notice that it's pointing in, pointing in an odd direction. And because I think I, I think this is the one. Yeah, and see things pop in and out from distance. So there's some odd things. I didn't know how to get into this thing. So I kept bumping it, trying to get into it. And you'd get it vibrating. And this is the this is the thing of be you know it's not intuitively obvious where you get in where the cockpit is and you can just you can move the ship around by by hitting with it and by bumping into it so this is the thing let's see if now i've learned a little bit about how to take off maybe i don't know oh actually i think it's upside down <laughs> is it upside down? It might be upside down. I don't know how I did that. And so I'm sort of screwed with the, the ship. If the ship is upside down, if I bounced it upside down, that may explain why I can't get in the cockpit. Because it looks, yeah, because everything is upside down. So how do you flip the plane? How do you, you know, somehow I got under here and flipped the ship. Which just gets a little weird. And I'm going, okay, fine. So I can't do anything in the hangar. And, oh, there we go. So we got, we got our use button. Where did, how did we get that? Got to find that. See, there's no one in, it's no triggers that I can see. There we go. So now then, let's use it. So yeah, notice how the, okay, so now I'm climbing into the cockpit upside down. This is fun. Okay, so now I'm just, and I get into the, the, the cockpit. And I think we're upside down. Yeah, we're upside down, which just doesn't, you know. How I got this thing upside down, I don't know. So I'm upside down. So how do I? And this is the, the this is the you know. So I'm sitting here in the cockpit, and how do I? You know, the buttons don't seem to work, except getting in and out. Which if I press that button, then I get out, which is so hard to get back in. That's not what I want to do. I want to get in and take off, and I don't know how to do that without going and reading a manual, which to me is not intuitive. So let's try this again. So yes, <laughs> uh, 
and I'm walking down, and then, yes, it jumps. So there's a, shall we say, an interesting philosophical problem that you have there, that the ship is upside down, and I don't know how to turn it over, but you put the entrance, but the animation to get into it is kind of weird because it's there. And so this is the, and you know, just trying to figure out, there we go, okay, so use so there we go so we see, we see the, the things and then i'm climbing up the stairs yes real fun climbing up the stairs <clears throat> and i climb into the upside down cockpit and i get in the cockpit and all right the things close all right so it's still doing my animation whatever it seems kind of overly long if you're getting into it. when you're like i am just wondering so we hit first off the d-pad nothing's going there we hit the left controller nothing's doing there the right controller i can look around can't do anything triggers don't appear to do anything buffer but no do nothing so if i press b nothing x nothing a a gets me out i don't want to get out I went through this, so now I know A exits the plane, which sucks because now it's got this long animation to get out, and then I have the problem of getting back in, which is the Y button. So I'm climbing out, and then I teleport. I'm climbing out upside down, and then I teleport back to right side, which is just kind of weird. And but that's okay. So now, now the. So we don't want to press the A button. So we got the Y button is the only one left. Mind you, and the ship is upside down. So what, how do you, you know, well, let's see what happens when I press the Y button. And then we'll, okay, let me get through this long animation. So I press the Y button and nothing happens. So without figuring out some sort of controls, and if I press F1, nothing happens. I don't get any help. So the help key, so th th that doesn't help, a, you know, so there's no, there's no help. That's why I said, and the mouse moves me around, but the mouse clicks don't appear to do anything. And things aren't, either they aren't bound or it's just, like I said, I'm too stupid to play this game. I don't want to spend the time to, you know, figure it out. But that's sort of my walkthrough with uh, Star Citizen. I mean, there are some pretty things about it. It's definitely funky. Uh, but that's, that's there. And I hit, hit the escape key. And you get electronics access. And I don't even know what that is. I'm just going to exit the game. And so, thank you for watching. If you like my video, press the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that. Or if uh, this interests you, you can always subscribe to my channel. There's a button right above. Uh, I look forward to hearing some comments. Tell me what you think about this and I'll uh, uh, try and reply and uh, we can see if I'll do some more of these. Thank you.